I don't know if you know this. Thor news is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. I don't know what's going on. Active volcanoes. Stay cool. I'm like a Care Bear that will punch you in the face with science. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. We have a new romantic comedy on our hands. 46P Wurtenen. 6P approaches 30 lunar distances on December 16th, 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a comet that is making an unusually close approach to the Earth. It's like a transport shuttle between here and Jupiter. We have one hell of a shot at a comet that you can see with your naked eyes. It is officially romantic comedy season. Do you believe in love? All right, I'm off the rails. What does this mean? It means that for some reason in the six years that I've had my YouTube channel, almost every single year around the end of November and December through January, comets start showing up around the sun. Big comets, little comets, strange shaped comets, comets with anti-tails, comets with regular tails, sun diving comets, sun grazing comets, you name it. They were all showing up for this solar party. I wonder why at this time of the year. Maybe it's the Christmas music that attracts them. I will let you ponder why in your own mind. Because I'm cool like that. I'm off the rails. And I'm setting sail towards science. Keep your expectations low. Well, if there's one thing 2018 has taught me, it's to keep my expectations low. We're talking lower than low. Like, as low as they can get. Like, worst case scenario, you know? So here I am. But on that note, let's get excited. While keeping our expectations low. Because we have one hell of a shot at a comet that you can see with your naked eyes. We were talking about Comet 46P, or da -da 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 -da. I'll get good at saying it by the time this comet passes. It's a periodic comet, and on December 16th, the comet will pass 12 million kilometers of Earth, and it should brighten to about a third magnitude. Though the diffuse coma and nearly full moon will make observations difficult. So we have reasons to get excited, and then reasons to be like, oh shucks. And that's 2018, really. Typically during the course of a year, about a dozen comets come within the range of amateur telescopes. Most quietly come TMI with little fanfare. Too bad for them. But during the upcoming weeks, one rather small comet will be making an unusually close approach to the Earth. Unusually close approach to the Earth. On December 16th, Comet 46P, Wirtanen. Pronounced Wirtanen. Wirtanen. See, I'm already better at it. That's what she said. It'll pass just over. 7 million miles from Earth. It was discovered on January 15th, 1948 by Carl Alvar Nun. He was a 37-year-old senior observing assistant. They finally sobered up after the long party of defeating Hitler and the Germans. At the Lick It Observatory in California, he detected a faint image of a 17th magnitude comet on a photographic plate. They used to eat on photographic plates back then. On occasion, however, 46P will pass close to Jupiter and its potent gravitational field, which will perturb the comet's orbit. In April 1972, and again in February 1984, the comet made close approaches to Jupiter, ultimately shortening its orbital period from 6.7 to 5.5 years, pushing the comet's perihelion distance some 82 million kilometers closer to the sun. Oh no! Doom! 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 Doom, doom, be doom, be doom, 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 wah. To a point just over 8 million kilometers. So we might get a show. We might get weird things in the sky. We might get romance, romance, romance for everyone. Welcome to this real life close approach to Earth romantic comedy. As December opens, 46P will be near the border between the constellations of Cetus and, and Anus. And Anus? Oh, I'm sorry, arid anus. That, that doesn't sound any. That doesn't sound better. Arid a word? Like, like in Scrabble, it's an acronym. That doesn't count as a word. What? Top definition: Get an arid mug for your mom. What does that even mean, man? Arid unknown. Lacking in oatmeal-like consistency. I'm just being silly this morning. Yep, it's true. Along the way, on the evening of December 15th, it can be conveniently found passing almost midway between the Hyades and the Pleiades, 
star clusters. Sometimes my love life feels like all seven Pleiades sisters are in love with me, and none of them want me to date any Earth women, and they've been a pact amongst themselves not to date me as to avoid fights in the family. So, oh, 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 I got a love that keeps me waiting. On December 21st. Where have I heard that date before? Well, here it comes around every year. Asterism. Two stars make up the kids' asterism in a recap. Now I'm just off the rails. Can't concentrate. I myself have examined data collected from two previous favorable apparitions of 46P in 1986 and in 1987. I was extrapolating that shit from the comet's average distance and magnitude during those apparitions, and it puts the comet's peak brightness at the plus three in mid-December, in agreement with Yoshida's estimates. I also expect 46P's coma to rapidly swell, coma erection, during early December, reaching an apparent angular diameter conservatively somewhere between 1 degree and 1.5 degrees, two to three times the apparent diameter of the moon on the night of its close to Earth. Wow, that sounds exciting. I'm all excited. Keep your expectations low, buddy. Thus, the stage was set for this year's very close approach to Earth. Ranked in terms of distance from Earth, this was the 20th closest approach of a comet dating as far back as the 9th century after the death of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And it's the 10th closest approach since 1950. So the odds of it causing chaos and murder on Earth are lower than you might imagine. <sighs> I'm off the rails. I'm off the rails. And I'm setting sail towards science. But as compelling as all this may sound, I'm so compelled. I now must temper any excitement by providing a very important disclaimer. You better wash your nuts before you expect people to lick them. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. At the beginning of December, many people with binoculars and small telescopes will no doubt attempt to follow the path of 46P Wirtanen. Wirtanen? Across the night sky. But actually seeing it will strongly depend on your observing sight your vision, and your company, plus your schedule, and your interest in the subject itself. From locations that are plagued by light pollutions, you're going to have a shitty chance, bro. I bet that sighting this comet is going to prove to be difficult to near impossible tasks. And even for those who are blessed with dark and starry skies, finding the comet could prove to be a bit of a challenge. This is because the comet will be unusually large in angular size, as well as appearing very diffuse, almost ghostly. Although comets are like magic cats, you never know what the hell they're going to do. Indeed, many with little observing experience will sharply question the predictions for a third or fourth magnitude object. But remember, you are not looking for a sharp starlight object, but rather, <laughs> rather something that is spreading its light over a relatively large area. Like me. Like me. In fact, under completely dark sky, free of light pollution, Perhaps the best instrument for locating the comet will be your own two eyes. You think? Especially if you use averted vision. So try and have cleavage with you if you can. Most who ultimately locate it with their binoculars or telescopes will, I believe, typically describe it as a nearly circular cloud comparable to arriving the moon in angular size and appearing a bit brighter and more condensed near the center. How the hell have I been talking for 14 minutes? Some photographs might show a slight elongation of the comet's coma, but hardly the kind of tail or appendage exhibited by other large comets that attain third or fourth magnitude. Speaking of the moon, it will become an increasing nuisance during the middle of December, lighting up the sky during the first part of the night and seriously interfering with observations of the comet. The moon will set later in the night, leaving the sky dark during pre-dawn hours. But as it approaches full phase on December 22nd, the amount of time between the moon set and the first light of dawn will get noticeably shorter. After full moon, dark sky opportunities open up in the evening sky. From mid-northern latitudes on Christmas Eve, there will be a 46-minute window of darkness between the end of evening twilight and moonrise. A week later, 46P will be visible most of the night without any lunar interference. About a half hour after the start of the new year, it will, it will stand more than 70 degrees above the northern horizon probably hovered about a fourth magnitude. So this is very exciting. This might be our best chance yet to squeeze someone we like a lot. Really tight while being cold in the field, drinking whiskey, making out, and looking at a comet across the sky right before Christmas. So I'm excited. Although my, I'm keeping my expectations low, bro. Totally low. Totally low. You know, 
I don't know, life is weird, man. But it looks like I'm going to survive November 2018, and that is cool. And with y'all's help, I might even survive December. I'm going to get excited, though I'll try and report this to you guys as honestly and openly as possible without blowing any sensationalism out of, out of proportion. Although the comet may have giant rocks in it, they're going to smash into Earth and kill us all. Damn it, I need to keep him under control. This awesome article is brought to us by Joe Rao, November 26, 2018. Yeehaw. All right, rock and roll, let's have some fun. Does anybody else remember how to have fun? I do. Let's have some fun together, no matter the weather. I love you guys. Everybody stay cool. Yeah, I'll be here covering this thing for you. And it is that time of the month where you guys reward me for all my hard work at bringing you the truth as I see it and doing what I can to unite our Earth family. I promise I'll try and do better in December. And you continue, Thor News, kicking with your contributions and donations. And I super appreciate you guys. You guys make me happy every single month. And y'all are the reason I continue to do this. And honestly, I think I've done pretty great. 2018, what a year. Aren't you glad I was here? Seriously. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know. I